Hi, welcome to DeLand, a little town nestled between Orlando and Daytona Beach, Florida, right off the I-4 corridor. Today, we are going to look at the rich history of this small little town that few know or have heard of, yet yield some of the most significant history of Central Florida. DeLand was founded by Henry Addison DeLand, a baking soda manufacturer from Fairport, New York, in 1876. So here we are at Stetson University, standing in front of the Hulley Tower, one of three structures in DeLand, Florida that is supposed to be haunted. Now, this structure was built in 1934. The original tower stood 116 feet and actually housed the bells, which one of is standing behind me. It was named the Eloise Chimes, which was named after Dr. Hulley's wife. This structure, as stated earlier, is believed to be haunted. Now the reason, the myth is that Dr. Hawley actually died before the completion of the construction, and he's actually buried inside it. So the rumor has it, now they see Dr. Hawley and his wife, and it's even rumored his dog is buried in there with him, that they are seen walking around campus from time to time. Fact or fiction, who knows? I don't believe in ghosts, do you? So here we are in front of DeLand Hall at Stetson University. In 1883, DeLand established the DeLand Academy, Florida's first private college. DeLand Hall was the first building on the campus. It housed a library, classrooms, chapel, gymnasium, and offices. In 1886, DeLand turned over the academy to John B. Stetson, a wealthy hat manufacturer from Philadelphia. In 1889, the school was renamed John B. Stetson University. DeLand Hall today is the oldest building in Florida in continuous use for higher education. In 1983, it made it on the National Register of Historic Places. Elizabeth Hall is Stetson University's signature building, built in 1892 as a library and named after John Stetson's wife, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Hall was the first campus building to be wired for electricity during construction. The South Wing contains a 786-seat chapel with a magnificent German-made Becker Rarth 2700 pipe manual organ surrounded by stained glass windows added in 1961. So here we are in front of the old Putnam Hotel. The hotel was built to replace the Putnam Inn in which burned down in 1921. Two ghosts are said to reside here. According to the lore, a hotel guest once killed his wife and then committed suicide on the premises. Witnesses say sadness emanates throughout the building and a shadowy figure has been seen in the hallway or heard walking or whistling. The sixth floor was said to be very active, although it was off limits to guests and used only for storage. Here we are in front of the DeLand Memorial Hospital. This hospital was built in 1920 and it is the third supposedly haunted location in DeLand, Florida. Some of the locals have seen apparitions in the windows. It is now a museum. They built a beautiful park around it. DeLand House Museum, built in 1886 by Henry Addison DeLand, for DeLand's first attorney, Arthur George Hamlin. The bell we see is one of the Eloise chimes from 1950. This bell was part of a set of 11 chimes originally designed for a Methodist church in Pennsylvania. When the top of the Hulley Tower was dismantled in 2006, bell number eight was bequeathed to the Henry A. DeLand House Museum. Today, it's a historical society for West Volusia County. The Volusia County Courthouse was built in 1929. The original courthouse was constructed on land donated by Henry DeLand. In 1995, a 10-year multi-phase restoration project began to preserve and restore the building to its original grandeur. Today, the courthouse is still used for government operations as well as a museum. The Athens Theater was built in 1921 and opened January of 1922. It housed a movie, live theater performance, and several vaudeville acts. During the Depression, the Athens Theater was the only entertainment people could afford. Today, the Athens Performing Company produces eight Broadway caliber shows per season presented in over 80 performances. Here we are in the historical portion of downtown Deland. We are standing on the corner of New York Ave and Woodland Boulevard. This was once the most southern point of DeLand's city limit. Henry DeLand purchased 153 acres of land, which ran from this point north one mile to Plymouth Ave, and is a half mile wide from Amelia Ave to Clara Ave. 
The city of Deland was officially incorporated in 1882 and became the county seat of Volusia County in 1887. It was the first city in Florida to have electricity. Deland donated the land for Woodland Boulevard. He agreed to clear a 60 feet wide stretch of land that went north to south within the one mile city limits. He lined the road with trees planting orange, hibiscus, and oak trees in alternating order. He then named the road Woodland Boulevard. Today, downtown Deland is a small, quiet, vintage town. Many of the shops transport you back in time, offering antiques, vintage records, dolls, banks, and museums. There are several quaint restaurants from romantic to casual dining. So come down to Deland and take a step back in time to a friendly, sleepy town. Rent some bikes and go explore.